I'm Angel Amdal Poso from BIT 3A Comtech. So lesson 1 tackles about the difference between microprocessors and microcontrollers. But first, let me define what is the meaning of microprocessor and microcontroller. A microprocessor is an electronic component that is used by a computer to do its work. It is a central processing unit on a single integrated circuit chip containing millions of very small components including transistors, resistors, and diodes that work together. A microcontroller, on the other hand, is a small computer on a single metal oxide semiconductor integrated circuit chip. In modern terminology, it is similar to but less sophisticated than a system on a chip. A system on a chip may include a microcontroller as one of its components. Now let's proceed with the difference of those two. Microcontroller and microprocessors both seem similar, but there is a huge difference between these two IPs. Microprocessors only have CPU in the chip, like most of the Intel processors, but microcontroller also have RAM, ROM, and other peripherals along with the CPU or processor. Both ICs have different applications and have their own advantages and disadvantages. They can be differentiated in terms of application, structures, internal parameters, power consumption, and cost. Next topic is technology today. Technology is basically the way we execute the discoveries of science and blend it with our own needs. Technology is a general term used to refer the different tools, machines, and equipment we use in everyday life. These tools and equipment have been invented by man to make the task faster, easier, and more comfortable. The implementation of technology in schools helps close the gap. Technology has the ability to enhance relationships between teachers and students. Technology helps learning and teaching more meaningful and fun. Students are also able to collaborate with their own classmates through technological applications. with lesson 2 that tells about the evolution of microprocessors. So let me give you a brief history of its evolution and generation. The first generation of microprocessors. This was the period from 1971 to 1973 of microprocessors history. In 1971, Intel created the first microprocessor 4004 that would run at a clock speed of 740 kHz. During this period, the other microprocessors in the market including Rockwell, International, PPS4, Intel 8008, and National Semiconductors IMP16 were in use. But, all these were not TTL compatible processors. Second generation of microprocessors. This was the period from 1973 to 1978 in which very efficient 8-bit microprocessors were implemented like Motorola 6800 and 6801, Intel 8085, and Zilog's Z80 which were among the most popular ones. Owing to their super fast speed, they were costly as they were based on NMOS technology fabrication. The third generation of microprocessor. During this period, 16-bit processors were created and designed using HMOS technology. From 1979 to 1980, Intel 8086, 8168, 8268, and Motorola 6800 and 6810 were developed. Speeds of those processors were four times better than the second generation processors. The fourth generation of microprocessors. 
from 1981 to 1995, this generation developed 32-bit microprocessors by using HCMOS fabrication. Intel 80368 and Motorola's 68020, 68030 were the popular processors. The fifth generation of microprocessors. From 1995 to until now, this generation has been bringing out high-performance and high-speed processors that make use of 64-bit processors. Such processors include Pentium, Celeron, Dual, and Quad-Core processors. Thus, the microprocessors has evolved all these generations and the fifth generation microprocessors represent an advancement in specifications.